Well, hundreds across the capital city have seen interruptions in their water service over the past month, and water main breaks are to blame. KSNT News reporter James Ryan is live in southeast Topeka to explain why the city says it's a problem without an immediate fix. Good morning, James. Good morning, Gretchen. While others were preparing to ring in the new year, people living here near 19th and Pennsylvania were without water on New Year's Eve. And you can actually see behind me that the street is still closed off because of the water main break. This was one of dozens of water main breaks across the city that the city workers are work were working to patch. Now, city leaders have recently talked about the need for investment in the city's water system, but the city's utility department says the harsh winter weather is actually to blame. When it's cold uh, and dry, uh, which is what we're seeing right now, uh, the ground contracts and shifts, and it doesn't. Our mains don't flex like that, so they tend to break. The city says water main breaks become more common once temperatures fall below 20 degrees. And coming up in the next half hour, I'll tell you what you can look out for to make sure that these water main breaks are getting reported. Reporting live in southeast Topeka, James Ryan, KSNT News. Thanks, James. And last month, the Topeka City Council voted to raise utility rates in order to invest in the city's water system. The first rate hike went into effect yesterday. For a complete list of what prices are going up, visit our website at ksnt.com.